Is movie pass in trouble? Me and this guy here discuss. So Variety is reporting that movie passes auditor Rosenberg, Rich Baker, Berman and company says that the company has suffered recurring losses from operations and negative cash flow from operating activities. Mm -hmm. He goes on to say that this raises substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. But it's also it's also important to note that Mitch Lowe, the CEO of mm -hmm. movie pass, sat down with Variety and told them that he has about two hundred and eighty million dollars saved up just in case for a predicament like this. And he also has three hundred seventy five million dollars worth of line of credit. Mm -hmm. So do you think so when we when we get when we get these numbers do you think he's just saying that to show face so he can make sure that movie pass goers are like not scared or anything or you just yeah. or do you think he actually has a plan laid out until 2019 well i'd like to think he has a plan i mean i'm a movie cast subscriber you're a movie, pass, a movie pass subscriber, pass subscriber. so i, I, I hope pass. mitch lowe has a pan, plan in place to get this thing going i mean you know we're paying 9.95 a month and some people are paying 6.99 yeah. a month it's really great so they're they're able to go see all these movies right but you get these numbers and these numbers are a bit sobering and we're getting these numbers from business insider uh they, they contributed to this report as well so you you get these numbers and they're a bit overwhelming because you're like wait how are they losing all this money mm -hmm. and still staying afloat but then mitch says you know i've got 280 million dollars raised i've got 300 million dollar line of credit so he's saying this is going to be profitable 2019. He's right. got all this money in place to cover the losses. So it looks to me like they bought the company knowing what they were going to do with the company, knowing it was going to probably not turn a profit for the first couple of years, first few years, but they're looking at it long term. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that plays out if, they're, if their uh, logic makes sense. Because last year, they made was it a uh, 10 10 million over 10 million dollars the like year that. before it was only six so they're making a profit by the technical term of making a profit they're making more money than they did last year. Mm -hmm. unfortunately more money is going out to retain the subscribers and more money is going out to get new subscribers so they're spending a lot of money on both sides of the fence and that's why they're hemorrhaging uh money and look like they're in deficit right and this auditor is just doing the report right give, give assessing what they think it, what works and what isn't working for their business plan and how uh how it's going to be profitable Profitable. It doesn't look like it's going to be profitable in the long run, is mm -hmm. what they're saying. And so they're just doing their job. There's nothing wrong with that. But overall, it does feel a little unsettling, to be honest with you, as a movie pass subscriber, that this might not last longer than two and or three years. And like you said, it's a little bit unsettling. And also to note, in, like we're going into the future, more mm -hmm. and more movie companies and more and more services are going to streaming platforms. Yeah. So it's like, do we have to consider that in terms of the future? Do we want to keep our movie pass membership? Because like you said, we only go, I only use my movie pass most of the time for smaller movies. Yeah. I don't, like if I'm going to Avengers Infinity War or something like that, right. I can't use my movie pass. You got to buy yes. those tickets so far in advance. So. Mm -hmm. You only really or use 3D. Yeah, exactly. Right. You only you, you really use Movie Pass for those smaller movies that you know there won't be sold out tickets for and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's mm -hmm. when I personally use it. So right. we have to consider that moving forward because we all these companies are going to streaming services. We have Disney, we have Fox. They're yep. trying to they're all all these companies are trying to move on to streaming platforms. Right. So we have to consider that in the future. So he says he has a plan uh, for 20, 2019 mm -hmm. and above. So I yeah. hope that's part of his plan is uh, trying to incorporate Movie Pass and streaming platforms. That would be dope. Yeah, I mean I think that's going to be an interesting thing how it plays out because streaming services are become are affecting more and more how many people go to the theaters right you know we're already we're seeing uh, people are issue people are going out how many tickets were actually sold versus how many people were actually there versus all versus what was happening 10 years ago you're seeing those numbers now being uh, brought up to be uh, uh, an issue of concern and so you're looking at that how many people are going to the theater it's a combustible situation right now with theaters because exactly. they're raising their ticket prices you know yeah, and they are. how many people want to go do you want to take your family of five and spend almost 150 dollars or hundred dollars to take them all to go see a movie or do you want to rent a movie for off your streaming service or get or get a movie down from your streaming service sit down a comfortable couch watch on a nice television with the sound system like that's the thing and yep. also the window is decreasing between movies coming out in the theater and movies coming out available on digital home mm -hmm. release so those kinds of things are all factoring into this situation I, I hope he has a plan to me I was always on the fence of like, I don't know how this is gonna work. How do you maintain this Same. financially? I bought, I bought the thing. I bought the uh, right. The, the thing. I'll take I was advantage like, of it, of course. It works, but, but like in the yeah. long run, will they really see the profit? But we don't know. We, remember, Netflix started out. People were like, it's not gonna make money. It's not gonna make money. People love going to the theater. Right. You know. And then eventually, they started buying. Uh, certain uh, uh, properties buying, you know, making deals with these studios, and then eventually they, they now they're spending eight billion dollars this year on their entertainment. So this could be a situation. Movie Pass is trying to become a player as well, but they're starting out slow. Rome and wasn't we'll built in a day. Happens.
okay. that's, right. that's what I always say about myself. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think movie pass is going down here or are they just going through a little bit of a rough patch? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Also leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing, I'm trying. Rome wasn't built in the day. I'm, I'm gonna use that same excuse for movie pass. Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you out here for another video. Peace up, A-Town down.